Hi, I'm Andrew at Baker's Gas. We're here today with the all-new Square Wave 205 by Lincoln. So, new TIG machine out on the market. Um, this one replaces the old Square Wave TIG 200. Um, it's just the newer, upgraded version of it. Um, and it's 205 amps as opposed to 200 amps. But in this video, we're going to go over what it comes with, all its features, um, how to operate the thing. And then later on, we're also going to have another video where we weld with this thing just to try it out and give it, give it a test. Um, so, just to jump right in, very lightweight, 36 pounds machine, it's a 110, 220. Um, so it comes with a plug adapter, we got it plugged into 220 right now. Um, just to give you an overall view of the, everything around it, it's a smaller, it's a more narrow machine than the old TIG 200. Um, the screen interface is very, very clear, very, very easy to maneuver through all the screens. And then I'll show you on the side, it's got a side panel. And inside there, your foot pedal fits with your foot pedal cord, gives you the instructions. It also gives you a set of parameters, so you can tell it, you know, obviously what gauge material, all the way up to three eighths, and then it'll give you parameters to run on. Um, and this thing does AC DC, so it does AC TIG, DC TIG, also does AC stick and DC stick. So it's a all around good machine. I mean, for light home fabrication or hobbyists, man, it's awesome. And the price point on this thing is is really really competitive. Um, we'll link that all down below so you guys can check that out. Let me run through the screen options here on the front. So in the, so basically we just go to process. We got AC TIG, DC TIG, DC stick, and AC stick. So let's just jump right into AC TIG because that seems to be the most popular thing people like to talk about. So we got a pulser. We got our balance that we can change. We got our AC frequency that we can change and our post flow. So it'll go all the way up to 205 amps on 220. Um, so the duty cycle on this thing is at on 220, on TIG output you can do a, has a 100% duty cycle at 130 amps, and then on stick it's a 100 amp, 100% duty cycle on 220. So we'll go, just press the button, we can turn on the pulser, we can, we can have it on, we can have it on auto, and we can go all the way up to 20 pulses per second. We're just gonna go back to off. You go into balance. And then this is where you're going to set your AC balance on the, the unit. So it says auto right now, but we can change it. We can go all the way up to 90. We can come back down. So I like 70, 75, somewhere in there. We're just going to leave it on auto, see where that sets at. The frequency, we can go all the way up to 160, and we can come down to 50. So 60 is what your standard old uh, TIG machines, used, old transformer style TIG machines used to run. But this thing said it was set at 90 when we got it out of the box. So... We're just going to try it at that and see how where it runs. And obviously our post flow is on auto, but then we can adjust it for how many seconds of post flow we want. We're going to leave it on auto. Usually it gives you one second per amp um, of running. So, or I'm sorry, per 10 amps. So we're going to go back. Boom. Very simple to use. Let's try another process here. DC TIG. So we got pulser and post flow. Then it goes all the way up to 205 amps. Pretty easy to use. We'll go back here. Oh, we just hit the home button. We'll go DC stick. So 7018. So we can go 7018 or 6010 crisp. This thing will run 6010, the 5P plus rod. Uh, we're just going to choose 7018 right now. When we weld with it, we'll go back and we'll try 6010. And then we got AC stick. So a lot of people, and I find the older community like to run AC stick, which is just an older style, so some of the old Tombstone Lincolns that came out back in the day, they were AC only. People like that, um, and it runs okay. So on the back side of this machine, you can see we got a power button and then our gas input. So our argon gas, this thing comes with a regulator, uh, the stinger for stickler welding, your ground cable, has the 110 adapter, has the gas hose. So everything you need to start doing, all you need is a gas bottle, and you'll be ready to rock. So one thing on this TIG torch, uh, comes already with a cable cover on it. Pretty awesome. WP-17 uh, comes with a consumable kit, not a flex head, so don't try and flex that, but that's what that is. And then it has a through the port, through the gas port DINs connection, so you, when you plug it in, the gas comes through that DINs connection on the front. Um, nice little compact unit. Uh, like I said, priced really competitive. So when the TIG 200 came out, and a lot of people have been following that machine for a while. It's been very, very popular, the old TIG 200. Um, I saw a lot of them go into 
production shops, which that's not what they were really intended for, but they held up and they ran really, really well on AC TIG. So that was a really popular machine. So when Lincoln came out, said they were gonna upgrade it, they slimmed it down, lost a little bit of weight, and now the thing, it's got a nice screen on the front, the 210 did, or 200 did as well, but this one, just some minor upgrades on the front of it, and man, I'll tell you what, it, it is awesome. So hopefully we can get some longevity out of this guy too, like they'll take 200. Like I said, been very, very popular, and uh, these have been very, very popular since they came out. But like I said, check out our links down below. We'll link all the pricing and availability. They are in stock right now, so check them out. If you got any questions, comments, or if you want to see anything welded with this unit, please leave them in the comments. We'll do our best to figure out what we're going to do with it. And uh, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for some more.